Okay, so this is the force diagram of the pulley. So two green arrows here are the tensions on the pulley. So the T1 on W is acting on the outer circle. And R1 here is the uh, outer radius. And T2 on W is the tension acting on the inner circle. And R2 here is the uh, inner radius. So for the next question, well, we know the torque can be equal to force times the perpendicular distance, which is FR. So the force in this case is T1 on W. And R1 in this case is the perpendicular distance. The reason why it's positive is because uh, the torque that was produced by T1 on W is going along the counterclockwise direction. Okay. And we know R1 is equal to 2.08. A. So therefore, we have torque 1 is equal to T1 on W times 2.0A, which is equal to 2A T1 on W. And the torque that was produced by uh, T2 on W should be negative because the torque that was produced by the uh, T2 on W is going along the clockwise direction. So we consider counterclockwise is positive, so that, therefore uh, the clockwise is negative. So we have tau 2 is equal to negative fr, which is, which is equal to negative uh, t2 on w times r2. So we know t2 on w is equal to 1.5 t1 on w, and r2 is equal to 1.5 a. So therefore, if you plug in back to the equation, we'll have negative 1.5 t1 on w times 1.5 a. And this will give us tau 2 is equal to negative 2.25. T1 on W, uh, A. You know what, let's, let's uh, write it this way. Um, so it's a negative 2.25 A, T1 on W. So therefore the resultant to torque, which is uh, tau here, is equal to tau 1 plus tau 2, which is equal to uh, 2 A, T1 on W plus negative, which is minus uh, 2.25, 8 T1 on W. And this will give us the resultant torque is equal to negative 0 0.25, A T1 on W. So as you can tell, since it's negative, that means the direction of the resultant torque is uh, clockwise. Or you can uh, write it in this way, which is CW. Okay. Then for the next question, well, we know uh, alpha here. Alpha here is the angular acceleration. And angular acceleration is, is equal to torque, the resultant torque divided by the moment of inertia. So we know the moment of inertia is positive, but the resultant torque is negative. So therefore, alpha must be negative as well, which means that angular acceleration is negative. And then this is the kinematic equation for the angular velocity, or in other words, the rotational velocity, which is omega f equal to omega i plus alpha t. Omega f here is the final angular velocity, and omega i here is the initial angular velocity. T here is the time. So as you can tell, uh, initially, uh, the pulley was rotating in counterclockwise direction. Okay, so therefore, the initial angular velocity here, which is uh, omega i here, is positive since it's initially rotating in counterclockwise direction. But since the angular acceleration, which is alpha here, is negative, so eventually the uh, final angular velocity here, which is omega f, will become negative. Okay? Because as time goes, the uh, angular velocity is decreasing since alpha is negative. So eventually the final angular velocity, or in other words, in this question, you were saying that the, uh, the rotational velocity should become uh, negative.
So therefore, uh, these are the answers for this question.